Hello everyone. Today, I'll talk about Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAC. Facebook published an article on RAG in September 2020. I found it recently and was amazed. The article says RAG lets researchers and engineers quickly develop and deploy solutions with just five lines of code. Wow, but it wasn't easy to understand at first. Over the last two weeks, I spent some weekends exploring it. Now, let me simplify it for you. Before I get started, it is important to understand few basic concepts like vector, embedding, and semantic meaning. A vector is a mathematical object with both magnitude and direction. In machine learning, a vector is a one-dimensional array of numbers. For example, here is how we represent fruits using vectors. Embeddings are special vectors. They capture complex data relationships and meanings in a way machines can understand. Imagine representing fruits to show their similarities. Notice that apple and cherry are similar in some way. Semantic meaning is the meaning of a word, phrase, sentence, or text in its context. For example, king might be close to queen in this special vector space, showing they are related in meaning. Now, let's dive into the RAG system step by step. First, imagine you have all your documents in one folder. You load these documents into your system. Next, you break these documents into smaller pieces, called chunks. This makes the data easier to manage. For example, you might split a long article into paragraphs or sentences. Then, you convert these chunks into embeddings. You use a model like BERT to turn each chunk into a vector. This vector captures the chunk's meaning. Think of it as translating text into a list of numbers that represent its meaning. After that, you create an index with these embeddings. This index works like a super-efficient library catalog. It helps you quickly find the most relevant chunks for any query. Now, let's say you ask, what is the capital of India? The system converts your question into an embedding. It searches the index for the most relevant chunks. It might find a chunk that says, New Delhi is the capital of India. Finally, you use these relevant chunks to generate an answer. You use a language model like GPT to create a coherent answer. So, the system will say, the capital of India is New Delhi. This whole process ensures that the generated answer is accurate and contextually rich. It uses the most relevant pieces of information from your documents. You only need two files to try this out. The entire source code and instructions are available on GitHub. Thanks for watching.